Hello everyone. Today I want to teach about active ank. This is ank. Hmm? And active staff authority. This is just an example to use staff authority that I use for teaching. Okay? And the reason why not everybody are allowed to carry anchor and staff authority. And what ank represents? Hmm? So anyway, you see this cross. I also brought it for teaching, for teaching purposes. It's cross. Because this cross is what you have in your Christian religion. And some people value cross a lot without knowing exactly what cross represents. And ank, because I know in my past videos, some people were saying, teach me about ank, teach me about ank, you know. And I didn't want to teach about ank because uh, my spirit have not given me the permission to go deep in about this ang but i'm just going to highlight some information about ang because you you read about ang and you see people wearing not so much as the cross right but people don't really understand what ang is and if a spirit do not teach you what ang is you will just don't know okay you know you will just know that ang represents key of life mm? yeah so anyway you see this ang it represents the feminine energy this is women and here is men and here is the source of these women and men that is the offspring the source of life and the life is not just physical life is both physical and spiritual life hmm? that is the meaning of ang and there are some spiritualists that use this ang to do spiritual work just similar to like staff authority right but and you know in african spirituality to use staff authority, you need to be called to have it. Some people, staff authority are given to them by spirit, like me. Why some people, when they go and they align their spirit, they want to start their spiritual work. A spiritualist have to activate uh, staff authority for them. And some people will think that this ang and staff authority are foreign practice. Mm -hmm. They, they are, because when I posted about this, some people say, ah, why don't you teach about real African spirituality? Why are you teaching about fantasy? Because they think that Anke and the uh, staff and the uh, staff authority, they think that is foreign. <laughs> Without knowing that they are ancient African uh, spiritual tools and symbols. Mm? Yeah, because maybe you, you're African in your religion, in your tradition, you've never seen anyone carrying an ank, that's why. Or you've never seen anyone carrying staff of authority. There are some tribes in Africa that carry this, they carry staff of authority, they use it for spiritual work. Staff authority, commands power and authority. And these are the people that are related to the ancient Moses and they don't know themselves. <laughs> you know, because people think that Moses is a white man, Moses is a black guy. Mm? People in the ancient Egypt, not the modern Egypt, they are black people. And when the invaders came, some of them flee to different parts of Africa. Why some of them, you know, invasion, they unlife you, destroy it and take over. So some of you guys do not know who you are still. You lost your identity. So Ank is African spiritual symbol that represents physical life and spiritual life. And to use ang for spiritual work is close practice. You will see in your in kemetic uh, whatever um, pictures, the gods and goddesses. You see that prominent people they are carrying ang, hmm? and you see the kings and pharaoh they carry ang, and the pharaohs and the kings that are carrying the ang is spiritualists, well-known spiritualists that gave them the ang, and ang is there to protect someone. So you see, as I'm wearing this ank, this is ank. You can wear it and it will protect you from untimely death. It will protect you from evil spirits. The ank, this ank is more powerful. It's more powerful than the cross. The cross is just the masculine energy. Who they, copy, they copied it from this one. Mm? This one have a balance. Both male and female. And women, we are the ruler. I told you that women used to be the head. People used to worship women in the ancient time. Mm? And they used to work together in harmony. But when religion came, they took away the women and only gave the masculine energy. This is just male. <laughs> and this one is more powerful, one million times than this one. Hmm? When you wear this, as someone that is not a spiritualist, you can wear 
hang. It will protect you. Mm? You can wear it. In fact, you should start wearing it. Mm? Go and buy it. You can meet jewelers. They will help you to to make it for you and you start wearing it to protect you from all kinds of negative energies that people do not know about. Yeah. It will activate the deities and the elemental spirits in your territories to protect you, including your ancestors. You know, our ancestors, they are very smart when it comes to spiritual things. So, Ankh is a powerful symbol. And some people say, ah, why are you using it? Ah, how? Why are you using this? It's not really real African. It's not, um, in, the, in this recent, like, modern Africa. And you forget that some people will have different tribes. <laughs> we have different tribes. So our tribe, our culture is going to interfere on how we are going to practice African spirituality. From my own side, my ancestors use this act and staff of authority to do spiritual work. Okay? And in some African um, spirituality, some, in some tribe, they use just the staff to work. Hmm? So even the staff to, to use staff authority to work, you have to be choosing spiritualists. You have to be called from birth to do spiritual work. And some of the staff authorities that we get, you know, it is spirit that gives it to the individual. <laughs> you know, spirit gives staff authority and they can manifest physically. Hmm? Yeah. And some, when you're called, you have to go and activate a spiritualist that help you to align your spirit to activate a staff for you. And there are different types of designs of staff authority. Hmm? They say with ANC, there are different designs of ANC. But they carry out authority, depends who carry. And all staff authority are not the same. As spiritual level are different, people will different, uh, have different abilities, different level in spirituality. That is how their staff authority also commands authority based on their ability, based on their spiritual level. Mm? So an individual, ordinary individual that is not called, you go and buy staff authority, or uh, you buy any staff or ank, it becomes inactive because you're not called. This is what I'm saying about active and inactive staff authority, and some people are finding it offended. Because it's going to just it's just going to be like fancy. People will think that you have it. But there is no power in it. There is no spirit that you're commanding with your ank or with your staff because it's fancy. Because this ank, spirit has to give it to you. <laughs> spirit will give it. Before I started using ank in this, in this reincarnation, it's the spirit that are introducing to me, which is Goddess Medusa. And she revealed to me how I used to use ank in my previous past life. She's the one that sat me down and taught me how to use it in this lifetime. A spirit gave it to me, you know. And also when, when I got through my, you know, past life, I saw how we're using it. So the memories all came back. So using ank to do spiritual work is a close practice. So if the spirit calls you, they will show you how to use the ank. But having an ank in your home, will bring protection in your home. You can hang it like the decoration in your home. You wear it like this or like a jewel. It will protect you from negative energy. Hmm? So those people that are thinking that ang is foreign uh, practice is because they don't know African spirituality and they think what is happening in their, their African spirituality in their country, in their, re in religion, um, in their region or country. They think all African uh, practices are the same like that. No, this is why I'm saying your culture, your tribe, the way you practice will affect the way you practice African spirituality. And you should practice it the way your ancestors used to practice it. Unless you don't know how they used to practice it before you can go the general way. Hmm? So, staff authority, if you buy it, hmm? because someone was asking me if they can just go and buy it, because if they have money, they can buy staff authority. If you buy staff authority and you're not called, it's inactive. You cannot command powers with it. But if you're, if you're called and you have staff authority, spirits, spirits, they respect staff authority. There is authority in it. Hmm? Yeah. So staff authority and anchor is not foreign practice. It's African practice. Okay? And it will always be African practice. You, you people should bring it out, actually. Be wearing like jewelry like you wear in the crosses so that people